Downs get ripped off. Andre Miller gets stripped. Royce Olney with it. Gets behind the arc. Cranks the three. New Mexico down one a minute to go. Utah now down one. Alex Jensen at the line for two free throws. Missed the shot. Rick Majerus in a sweater. Jensen, the second. All good. Ties the game at 74. 14 seconds to go. Disregard the score you see. It is tied at 74. It's only working it, walking it. He'll crank another. The three. Good. Four and a half to play. The Lobos up three. Utah brings it down. No timeouts. Andre Miller to Hansen. Hansen. The shot clock is gone. The game is over. The shot does not count. And New Mexico taking down Utah for the first time this season. The Lobos are abundantly pleased with their performance. New Mexico taking down the last Division I men's under moment into the first half one of the bright spots for the Gamecocks Sean Myrick would end up with this after the Watson drive and Myrick makes it happen from three-point range but the Bearcats were still up by 20 at the break different story second half BJ Mackey finding Watson he's open 21 points for Watson look who's coming back Gamecocks now down three under a minute to go Watson driving look at this shot the leaner he hits South Carolina now within one after a Bearcat turnover Watson loses it Levitt would pick it up, and all he has to do is run out the clock, right? But he passes to Bobby Brannon, and Brannon would be called for the offensive charge. South Carolina, one last chance to win this thing. Before we get Gets it in front court to B.J., bumped by Levitt. B.J. has to move around Levitt, then bumped again. Now Grant has it, shoots for three. Good! Good! Oh, my goodness! And there's a mob on the court. Oh, it was right here. The ball came loose, and Grant shot it. A straightaway three, and he knocks it down as Carolina wins an unbelievable game, 67 to 65. Back to back game winning baskets for Antonio Grant. And thanks to Grant, South Carolina is now 7 and 1 in games decided by five points or fewer. At Kentucky, under Rick Pitino, of course, Jason Williams from Churchill Downs buries the three. Florida led at the break by six. Second half, Kentucky trying to get back into it. Cameron Mills can do that, you know. Mills hits from there. Career high 31 for Mills. Cuts the Gators' lead to 10. Still in the second, shot clock winding down. Jason Williams, downtown Lexington, buries it. Gators by 10. Final minutes now. Florida keeping the heat on. Eddie Shannon sees the opening. Wow, what a move. 11 points for Shannon. And Kentucky can't believe it. The Gators hand them a loss. Florida. Uh-oh, Bob Donato. The flip over the bench. Look at this. He knows his priorities. The ref gets up, puts the whistle right back in the mouth where it belongs. He's okay. Still in the first half, Duke up big. Rashawn McLeod responsible for that. Burying the three. 23 points, eight boards for McLeod. Second half, Duke maintains control. Shane Battier was a blocking machine. He held a blocking clinic. And then he hustles. Bobby Kremens upset over the loss and upset over his team's 21 turnovers. For Duke with a victory, the Blue Devils improved to 9-0 in the A's. Early Ryan Robertson. One of his 11 assists give it to Rafe LaFrance. Look out! 25 points for LaFrance. Kansas led by five. Huskers would turn to Troy Piatkowski. This is why. Five three-pointers in the second half for Piatkowski. And then Piatkowski kicking it out to Teron Liu for three more. The game is tied. Huskers a tough team at home, but Kansas would go back to basics, go back to their stars like Paul Pierce with 27 points. Kansas wins it. Coach Roy Williams called his team's performance pretty ugly. At Tom Davis looking to end the losing ways. Michigan down seven in the first half. Jared Ward, the rip, pushing it. Has traffic. Fight through that to miss. Fight through more of it. The ball back. Gets up and he scores. End of the play, though. J.R. Koch went down hard. Turned his left ankle. Did not return. He led Iowa with seven points in the first half. Michigan up six at half and then getting more. It's Lewis Bullock for a three. Michigan rolls here 80 to 66. Wolverines ended a two-game losing streak of their own. And they won it. Rod Thompson pushing himself behind the back cranks the three and he got it Tulsa celebrating and headed to overtime now in the overtime Tulsa's down three again back to Thompson this time with the board again the three is good he had 23 and it's TCU's ball with three seconds to go Prince Fowler cranking it deep Eric Coley deflected it Ryan Carroll gets it and scores it and Billy Tubbs team hanging on to win a wild one 102 to one Hartford we go Richard Hamilton steals the ball. He can do it all. The nice pass to Ricky Moore for the lay-in put the Huskies up eight. Later in the first half, UConn up one. Moore. 
That was an easy steal. Here he goes the other way. A flagrant foul is called. Moore sprained his wrist on the play, but he would return. Second half, UConn up 11. Kevin Freeman catches the air ball up ahead to Hamilton out front. Hamilton fouled hard by Jermaine Medley. That's a flagrant personal foul. Medley, see ya. Tossed. Later in the second half, UConn up 18. Hamilton, another steal. Taking it all the way for the jam. 29 points, so he does it. Boy, he's good. Surpassing the 1,000-point mark. You deserve to celebrate, and so do the Huskies. 80-65, to 65, the finals at Hamilton about show off his skills and skills he has Sprags the up fake and the explosion to the hoop for the jam Skip Prosser and Xavier up 52 35 at the break second half Braggs on D the steal the big man can motor all the way for the lay and Bragg finished with 17 points did Braggs 11 boards and five steals meanwhile James Posey doing an imitation of himself he's good from there 21 for Posey this one was easy but you know Lenny Brown really set the tone for this thing he hit five of six from the way down to first half Mike Robinson the steal looking up ahead to Anthony Carter AC acrobatics rainbows tie it early later in the first half Fresno State up five Chris Heron he had 15 points but look at the great pass to Larry Abney for the jam the Bulldogs led by one at the break second half Fresno State coming out firing led by who else Terrence Roberson from the corner but the Bulldogs up five and then later in the second half Hawaii having a tough time let me be more specific Alika Smith the free can't find it rim and out more Fresno from outside Chris Heron dive in addition to Ray for Alston for the three Bulldogs up eight Hawaii trying to answer Alika Smith can't get on track in this game. Alika, 5 of 19 from the field, was free. Fresno bombing away. The Bulldogs swinging around to Winfred. Walton drains the three. Bulldogs up nine. More Fresno from outside. Roberson. He finished with 24, and Fresno State and Tark wins it easily, 91 to 76. Fresno State had five playing. He gets the ball, feeds Clack. Wow. I Tony Baroni can't believe it. Hey, it happens. Longhorns down one, Ira Clark. Misses the jam. Bernard Smith, well, he's going to slip in the necky. Oh, it's okay. He hits from there. Longhorns up two. Two minutes left. Aggies down one. Shane Jones. He's got some room. Chance for the fadeaway, and he hits. Aggies up one. 20 seconds to go. Clack. Runner time. Can't hit it. Chris Mim. The board and the putback, what a play, what a big basket. Tom Pender's Longhorns up by one. Three seconds to go, last chance for AM. Steve Houston, the inbounds. Houston, the turnaround, Jay can fall. So Texas holds on to the dramatic 81-80 victory. Mim helping extend the Aggies' losing skid to 10 games. He missed 31 games. Suns down 10. Antonio McDyess getting the feed down low. McDyess had 22 points, 13 boards. This is Georgia State. Tough night for lefty. Charleston Shane McCravey takes it strong to the hoop. To the hoop. For the hoop. He had 12 points. McCravey again assists down low to Cedric. Weber, Cedric, you ain't got to hurt him like that, kid. Weber at 13, stymied by a 52-point second half. Lefty goes home disappointed, losing 79-52. Creighton, Evansville, first half, Creighton strong. Ryan Sears feeds Justin Haynes, Justin at 18. Evansville hung tough. Marcus Wilson, no doubt for his three. He had a game-high 25. Creighton tough down the stretch. Shabu, Jim! Corey Brandon, three of his 17. Creighton wins at 85-76. Southern Illinois, Southwest Missouri, second half. Southern Illinois pulling away. Shane Hawkins on point from like deep down in Georgia somewhere. He had 17, but the Bears storm back. John Paul Nelson, three names, 10 points. That narrowed the lead to five. Time winding down. The Bears go back to Nelson. Cannot connect. But Ken Stringer fights off everybody, gets the board. First the kiss, then the lay. He had 14. Southern Illinois up only one. After two made free throws, a lead back up to three. Kevin Alt missed the three. Southern Illinois gets the rebound and the win, 79. About another buzzer beater. Six seconds ago in the first half, Drew Maddox, no. Vince Ford, money on the follow. Ford, two of his eight points, Vandy by four at recess. Second half, Vandy up one. Melvin Watson to LaRon Williams. Ah, upset. Williams, 11 fat points. Watson, a game high, six assists. South Carolina up five. Drew Maddox scoring a team high, 18 points per game. Got two of his 12 in this game. Cut the lead to three. Then Maddox, a 39% three-point shooter, tries to pull within one. Off the mark, Jen Van Bredikoff. Needed a hug. South Carolina wins at 65-61. B.J. Mackey, freshman, Jones being the key word. Greg Jones robs the Greer pass. 
And then shows Greer his glass. Pitt, 16 turnovers as a team. Jones had 10 points. Then Brent Soheim picks off Greer. And Damian Owens, nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Greer himself, five first-half turnovers. Freshman again being the key word. Second half, more guard trouble. Montego Cummings picked off by Owens. Montego had five turnovers himself. More on his slow play later. The Mountaineers take it down low. Owens at the baseline to Adrian Pledger, who fed Solheim. Mountaineers shot 54%. West Virginia roll. Temple Owls. Oddsball Bassett, one of five blocks, tells Lamont Barnes, I have blocked you. But Temple, behind Rashid Brokenborough, would break away in the second half. Hits the three and Brokenborough break in the minute men's back. And now Lynn Greer trying the threes. Three straight trays for Temple, and then they decide to go inside. Greer drives, misses the lay-in, but Keaton Sanders does not. The Minutemen lose their first A-10 game and their 10-game winning streak, and one fell swoop. Another A-10 opponent goes down again, whose grandfather, John, of the class of 31, submitted the nickname Hawks to him. That's something I did not know. We mentioned this for a reason, and you'll see in a moment. The play on the court was awful chippy. That's Rashid Bay who just loses it. This is after URI had lost it. Now everybody's losing it. Antonio Reynolds Deans stops the insanity. He had 22 points. Moments later, Tyson Wheeler dribbles behind the back. One handed bounce pass to Mobley. The bucket and the foul. Rams go on an 18 4 run, and things get ugly between the mascots. The Rhode Island Ram tries to prevent Bobby Gallagher's Hawk from flapping his wings, and now we're playing the few. We a lot of basketball together. See, he's saying, I can flap my wings. I can flap my wings. The refs tell coach Jim Harrick his mascot got the game. I see a Jerry Springer show right here. Huh? Uncut, of course. And then the Hawk flaps up. Dwayne Dwayne says, hey, hey, hey. Hi, 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 hi. Tom Davis can't believe what's happening. His team's down nine at the half. During halftime, Jake Erickson, a fan, a chance to win a brand new car. And now he gets the spin last in the showcase showdown, too. Second half, Iowa coming back. Dean Oliver misses the free throw, but Ricky Davis, who had a great game, didn't start, slams it home. Iowa up 74-69, up through with 7.5 seconds left. The inbounds pass stolen by a Hensi Oriental. So Wisconsin has a chance to tie it. Mason, Sean Mason shot at the end. Ball short. Could have used the fan. Wisconsin loses 79-76. Dr. Tom, as we said, bench Davis to shake his run. Donnell Mitchell on the alley. Jamar Dunmore rocks the oop. He only had four points, would give him 12 more for style. But off the Iona miss, Roderick Platt to Jason Rowe. Rowe, spin, no look pass to Jamal Hunter. Jamal, first the kiss, then the lay. Iona's 15-game winning streak, snap, they lose 91-82. St. John's 8-4 and four in the Big East at Boston College. Felipe Lopez, the steal, the deal, for real. 26 for Felipe on 11 of 16 shooting. Second half, Ron Artest with the rebound. Artest, should he take it himself? Why not? Why not indeed? Our test also at 26 points, 13 rebounds. St. John's wins at 91-79. Losers of three in a row, Providence at Miami. Off the Tim James miss, Steve Frazier. Serious, serious flavor. 13.6 rebound, Miami wins 64. Tied at 60, Gino Carlisle. Two of his 25, a tough shot, and Cal's up two with two minutes to go. Stanford answer, answers Arthur Lee, one of his four second-half trays. It counts, and the foul, four-point play puts Stanford up two. Carlisle answers again for Cal. We're tied at 64 with less than two minutes to go, but Lee comes back with a minute left, another three. Stanford up 67-64. The Cardinal would hit their free throws, and Stanford goes on to win 74-72. Lee scored 17. So did Tim Young. He's not lost to LSU since February 2nd, 92. The current batch of Tigers could care less. Maurice Carter, the lane and the foul. LSU has some hops, leading by six at the half. But then in the second half, the Wildcat pressure would get to LSU. Wayne Turner with the steal. Scott Padgett with the steal. Cameron Mills with the steal. More Kentucky trapping. This turnover leads to Mills spotting up in the corner for three. LSU turned the ball over 19 times. Kentucky takes a 42-36 lead, but LSU came back with some three balls of their own. Willie Anderson with said three ball. LSU regains the lead, 49-47.
but the Tigers kept turning it over. Nazar Muhammad steal sets up Jeff Shepard going coast to coast. Kentucky is back ahead again, 59-51, but LSU down by five late in regulation. Maurice Carter hits the three, had 19 points. LSU cuts the lead to two, and with seven seconds left, it's still a two-point Kentucky lead. Maurice Carter winds up with it for the win. It's no good. Kentucky wins, but check out Coach Tubby Smith's face. Doesn't look too happy about winning, does he? Kentucky reached the 20-win plateau for the 43rd time in the school's storied history. The French playing in his native state for the final time. It's a 6-3 pointer. Later in the first half, referee Wally Tanner underneath the basket makes the call, and his knee buckles. Tanner would collapse. Coaches Roy Williams and Tim Floyd come out having a laugh. Roy Williams telling Tim Floyd, you hear what Krause said about Phil Jackson earlier? <laughs> Tanner would be okay. He's a referee. 1.3 seconds left in the first half. Lester Earl beats the buzzer emphatically. Kansas up 37-25 at the half. Second half, different half, same old story. Ryan Robertson zip pass to Billy Thomas. Kansas wins big, 83-62. Paul Pierce scored 19 points. First half, Dewan Wiley blocks John Lumpkin, leading to the Spartan break. Trailing the play is David Thomas. Draining the J is David Thomas. Spartan shoot 50%. They're up 19-11. Second half, Michigan State's Doug Davis. Kill Doug is your world, man. The rest of us just paying rent. Davis only nine points, but four four shooting. State wins at 84-58. They do move to nine and one in the Big Ten. Struggling Minnesota at Illinois. Second half, Kevin Turner shoots an air ball for Illinois, but Jarrett G, no GTE. G, 14 points, 11 rebounds. 35 seconds later, Matt Heldman misses, but G gets the rebound, sets up Turner for three. Booyah! Turner, three of seven deep, 19 points. Illinois wins and out-rebounds a Big Ten team for just the second time. Looking for their first win at Assembly Hall, Penn State takes on Indiana. Indiana's Luke Record to the hoop. Nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. He was 12 of 20 shooting. Indiana up 23-16. Second half off the turnover, Lewis finds Wrecker. Wrecker, hit the drummer, get wicked. Career high 29 points as Indiana wins 95 76. Indiana 7 3.